Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be a deep dive into my job switch from Morgan Stanley to Google. I am going to be talking about how my life was at MS, why I wanted to make this switch, how I went about looking for job opportunities and how did I prepare for the Google interviews. And finally, I'll also be comparing the salary structures of both of the firms. So stay tuned. All right, so I spent exactly 15 months at Morgan Stanley. First of all, huge shout out to them. It was my, they gave me my first job. So, you know, super grateful. And yeah, so in 15 months, the first two months is a training period that you have to go through. And uh, that training is called the Technology Analyst Program. And post those two months, you, you get assigned a team and essentially you start working full time there. So I got matched in the Wealth Management Division, uh, particularly a team that handled institutional client management. And I worked as a full stack developer in that team for these 15 months. Okay, so let's dig into the why behind the switch. After those 15 months, I was already at a point where work had started to feel a bit redundant to me, which did not feel good. And second, I had always wanted to work at a product-based company, right, where tech is at the forefront rather than tech just supporting the business, which is the case in all of these fintech firms, right, like Morgan Stanley. And third, there was definitely a financial delta as well in the market, which I wanted to climb up. And I think those were my main motivations of looking to switch. Now let's dive into the how behind the switch, how I went about looking for job opportunities and what was my preparation strategy. So for the first point, I majorly used the online portals, LinkedIn being the major one and you know, a couple of others like Instahire, Nokia.com. I think those are pools that really work as well. Uh, one thing in LinkedIn, I think, is that you should really put that open to work filter on in your profile if you're looking, because I think that is something recruiters filters the, filter the profiles by. So yeah, I think that helps. Coming to the second point, what my preparation strategy was. So like I mentioned, even in the previous previous video that, that I was already about one and a half months into my job search, I had already given a bunch of interviews. So I was uh, already pretty prepared with the DSA part of it by the time the Google, Google opportunity popped up. So I was in a decently comfortable position and so I was already grinding out lead code and everything. Now coming to the interview format, right? The Google interview format. So it's like 45 minutes is one interview. And in those 45 minutes, you are expected to propose the solution, discuss the solution with the interviewer, code the solution and run a couple of ad hoc test cases on it. Answer any follow-ups if they have on that question as well. So you have to wrap everything up in 45 minutes. So I think this is one thing that I identified that this is quite a tight deadline. So that is something I wanted to practice more. So what I did was I used to do three 45 minute sessions daily. I used to pick one of the one of the questions and you know do the same things that I mentioned. I asked some of my friends to be the interviewer or some sometimes I did it solo as well. But yeah, that is something I followed every day and I think that that really gave me confidence. So yeah, I think that was it for the specific Google specific preparation that I did in those four weeks. Okay, so the entire procedure took around 2.5 months in which I had my four on-site rounds in which three are the coding rounds, one is the HR slash Googliness round. Then once you clear those four rounds, you get into the process of team matching. Now this can take a long time for some people. I've heard it's it taking, you know, upwards of six months. But fortunately for me, I matched with a couple of teams initially. The first one did not work out, but the second one did. I, I also re, like really liked other team and they thought I was a good fit as well. So in the entire 2.5 months from the coding interviews to the preparation, I think every, everything was done. And post that, I had gotten my offer and I resigned the next day. Okay, so now let's compare the salary structure of both of the firms, right? Uh, so I'll start with Morgan. So I think there are essentially two components. One is your base salary. And then second is like are a bunch of bonuses that you get. So first one being the joining bonus. Second one being the relocation bonus if you are eligible for it. Third is the performance bonus at the end of the year. And then there are a bunch of retention bonuses that you get at the end of every year for at least four years. It's like it's part of the technology analyst program. People who come through there get, you know, four years of retention bonuses. So like if you complete the first year, you will get an X amount or if the second year, then you'll get some amount. And yeah, I think those are the two components in the Morgan salary. And now coming to the Google salary, there will be three components to the Google salary. The first one is again your base salary. The second one is the performance bonus that you get at the end of the year. And then the third one, the Google stock units, the stock plan that you get. So the day that you join, right, you get a grant of a certain, you know, amount that had already been previously discussed with you. 
and now that grant will keep vesting to your account on a monthly basis now some stocks will uh, keep getting you know vested to your account on a monthly basis and i think this is one key thing that is very different from other uh, other firms that offer stock plans because, because usually they have this quarterly vesting schedule or they have a yearly vesting schedule uh, unlike google where you get it monthly so basically it's in your account like if you want to sell it monthly then you can sell it monthly so i think that is a great thing to have if need be and yeah i think that those were the key components of the google salary All right so that was it I think for my switch from Morgan Stanley to Google do let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or you want me to talk about uh, something more in detail in in the in this whole procedure and yeah do leave out feedback and subscribe to the channel thank you bye bye